Stormwind Keep is ours to take. The Orcish Hordes gather like buzzards to carry it as the moment of destiny is close at hand. A low growl fills the air as your wolf riders whip their savage mounts into a frenzy. The earth shakes as catapults are loaded and moved into position. The fires of the burning rubble about you dance in your eyes as you gaze upon the pristine white towers of Castle Stormwind. White that will soon be washed with the red of King Lane's blood. With his fall, all of Azeroth will be yours. The final confrontation between the orcs and the humans in the lower portion of Azeroth is at hand. Hello, everybody, this is EZ, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Warcraft. And yes, I am actually using the invincibility code here because I do want to get in the final cinematic and the final end credits. That is Storming Keep, by the way. I am trying to get the final cinematics and final end credits in this video. I don't want to make this video more than 10 minutes long because I just don't want to make a 10 minute video. The 10 minute video for this is just don't want to make. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to stick with the way it is right now. Um, let's see, we... This is the final mission. The orcs, this mission does happen because the orcs do sack Stormwind. They do actually destroy the keep. So, this actually is the end of the original human squadron in Azeroth. I really like this campaign. It's one of the first games I've ever actually played, so it's nostalgic for me. The thing I don't like is, your goal is to kill the keep. Why do you have to destroy every single building in the entire thing? Is so you're just going to sack the keep and winning? I don't know, but that's Blizzard logic for you, so I'm not going to argue with it. And the funny thing is, the three bases are not connected, meaning if you attack one base, they won't help repair, they won't help defend it. So, yeah, that makes no sense. And this, I do actually end up destroying the keep before I destroy the regular units in this, because I wanted to show you what the final build looks like being destroyed. I wanted to show that off. So... You guys will see what the buildings look like being destroyed. What the explosion looks like. I think for this time, it's actually a pretty neat explosion. Just the time it is. Ow! Catapults hurt when they hit you. But you missed. So that's fine. I do kill the men because the archers do give me a headache after a while. So we kill the men before we actually kill Stormwind. Let's really kill the Clark before killing the guy that can actually hurt him. Now I go and actually attack the Stormwind Keep itself. You don't actually... you do just... It's hard to explain. Watch how the Keep actually goes down. Boom, boom. I just love the multiple explosions that it has there. But... Griselda, not Griselda, Garona actually breaks in and kills King Lane, and you take over Azeroth. The keep, not 100% the keep actually has to destroy destroyed or not. This is the first part of the campaign that I'm not 100% about in terms of what happens. But honestly, this is the end of it. Why are they still fighting? Their king is dead, and yet they're still fighting. Why? Why the hell are they still fighting? Their king is dead. He is. I don't know why they fight. I mean, they have no leader, they have no more. All they got are two peasants, two farms, and a stable. Now one farm and a stable. Now a stable! Now just two peasants! Now this knight actually have. I mean, that raider, not knight. I have the raider kill the walls, we just go quickly to the peasant. Anyway, and that does it, folks. I decided not to save this just for fun.
And that is actually the end of the Warcraft 1 work campaign. Um, I'm going to be quiet for a second so you watch the end cinematic. With the decimation of the human forces, the sacking of their castle was a simple matter. They offered little resistance once you ran their weak leader through with your war blade and toppled his body into the moat. The taking of Stormwind has kept your warriors in good spirits, and the offerings of gold and jewels that they bring to you are ample tribute to your leadership. Wine flows like blood, and the smell of freshly cooked meat fills you with satisfaction as you begin your victory feast. The countryside is ablaze with bonfires as groups of battle-hardened dogs celebrate the domination of this land with songs of war and victory. You have finally assumed your rightful place as ruler of this realm and as war chief of the Orcish clans. That's bullshit. You have become the leader of Black Rock Clan. What new conquests will await you in this place? The Shadow Council has begun to bring you information concerning the lands across the Great Sea that are as yet untouched by Orcish rule. The Warlocks also seek your permission to resume their experiments with the portal, their intent being the subjugation of other worlds. With the power you now possess, your choices are limitless. But these are choices for another time. And that is the beginning tales of Warcraft 2. You are that is a early depiction of what um Ugram Doomhammer looks like. If you take off his helmet, he probably looks nothing like what he does in Warcraft 2. So yeah, yeah they had kind of a little um mistake there in the art design. They couldn't keep it consistent between the games, but yeah, the games were a few years apart, new graphics came in, so yeah, it makes sense that they didn't keep it consistent, because it looks better in the new version if you actually look at the book that comes with the version, so... So yeah, I mean, this is it. That was the Ure camp that was the Ore campaign. That was actually finishes both campaigns. I really enjoyed doing this LP. Uh, my next LP, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet, but I'll tell you it's going to be a good one, don't worry about it. It'll be a good one. I'll actually be releasing the trailer for that within the next couple days, but the first episode should not go out until the 11th or the 12th. I'll give myself a week or so to get it all prepped up, get some episodes recorded ahead of time, so I can keep up with my demand, uh, my personal cord of trying to upload every day. I failed doing that on this OP mainly because I honestly just got, for this OP I got lazy with it because I've beaten this campaign so many times it just like poured me. That's why I started using the codes at the end there because the missions are just repetitive and I've done it so many times. I guess this is one of the first game I ever, this was the very first computer game I ever played. So, you can kind of imagine how many times I've actually played it. Um, yeah. Let these credits roll. I'm not going through all the names I gotta do in the human campaign. Uh, there are I could butcher the names again, but I'm not going to. I do love the special thanks, though. This is his Blizzard sense of humor right here. Bobo the Wonder Orc! Gotta love Bobo the Wonder Orc whenever he shows. There he is, Bobo the Wonder Orc! Private Pasma, Bunchy, Escander, Salty Dog, Ardith, the Batman, Shannon and a White Chocolate Grapes, Pretty Princess Gwendolyn, Darlene and Earth, the Memphis Blues, Jason, God of Thunder Thor, The Mang Mang, Fix Car, Rexy Bogus, Rain the Soda Man, Lala, The Kitchen Sinking, you for reading this! I read the favorite ones that I used to make fun of when I was a kid. That's why I read those, because those were really nostalgic. And I made fun of them a lot when I was a kid, just because of the way they were. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this LP. I know I did making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys in the next LP. And my style for the next LP will change dramatically. So be prepared for that. And have a good day.